Hey guys, today I'm super excited to give you my spoiler free thoughts on strays. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know I love a good R rated movie. Now, whether that's a raunchy comedy like strays or something horror gory, you know, that's my kind of thing too. But right now we're going to talk about strays and this is a very much a raunchy comedy. I'm pretty sure this is the first ever dog movie that is R rated and it's are rated they push the envelope there's sexual situations there's discussions of the size of dogs penises there's a lot of drug use there's a lot of bad language and i mean drug use not just humans but dogs as well i mean there's a lot of stuff going on here um but it all works really well. Now I will say this movie delivers, I mean, it is very funny and it has a lot of moments that are going to make you laugh. Not every joke works for every person. I will say I noticed in my screening different jokes hitting for different people, um, but the majority of them worked for me. There were a few that I didn't find that funny, but it wasn't like, ooh, that's cringy. I can't believe they included that type of stuff. It was like, oh, hmm, like maybe a little chuckle and moving along. But there's a lot of like laugh out loud moments in here as well. It's very, 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 very funny. But there's also a little bit of heart mixed in here too. So this story is about a dog named Reggie who is voiced by Will Ferrell who is dropped off by his owner, Will Forte. Out in the middle of nowhere, leave me alone, I don't want you anymore, dog. Um, and the dog goes ahead and meets a couple of other dogs, Bug, Hunter, and Maggie. Um, and they just kind of make him realize that maybe his owner wasn't so nice. And he decides he wants to enact revenge on his owner. And so they need to journey back to his owner. Think like Homeward Bound, but not like, hey, we're trying to get back to our house. We're happy, go lucky. Here's our funny journey. It's like a full on journey, but like they have some serious things they want to do to enact revenge. Uh, in case you haven't seen it in the trailer, in case you don't know, uh, I don't want to spoil that for you because it's a very entertaining part of the story. Now, this is like a whole journey. There's a whole lot of things that happen, right? They eat some bad mushrooms, maybe go on a little trip, so to speak. Uh, things get wild and crazy. They have a wild and crazy night. They drink, like literally they're drinking out of the trash bags from a bar and get drunk. Like there's all sorts of stuff like this, okay? Two of the dogs, Hunter and Maggie, have this kind of unspoken thing um, that they maybe kind of like each other. So you've got that sort of going on, a little bit of a love story. Um, but the main thing here is you just absolutely fall in love with Reggie. Will Ferrell does such a good job with the voice, as do all the actors. I mean, these dogs, you just immediately like believe, oh yeah, it feels like this voice goes with this dog. And I will say, I feel like there was a lot of improv here and it just feels really, mm, really real, okay? Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx recorded together, which I think was perfect, and I think that was a very, very brilliant choice to be made uh, in this movie because it really makes you believe that these are two dogs that are just having a lot of fun. Now, I've gotta say, you also have to give props to um, the entire crew for their patience and the trainers as well because working with dogs is hard and this is literally starring dogs. There are dogs everywhere. It's not just these four dogs. There's plenty of other dogs along the way that they meet. Other animals, there's cats, right? And so like they have to do what they're supposed to do, which I've had dogs, they don't like to do what they're supposed to do. It's very, very hard to make them do stuff, let alone make all of them do what they're supposed to do at the exact same time. I can only imagine. So props to that because it's really pulled off well. Uh, it's like you would never know if something maybe went astray and they had to change stuff, right? I guess that's the beauty of voiceover, okay? It's not like they can just take stuff and then they can record whatever they want and stick it on there. And so if a dog messes up a bunch of times, I guess they could have just gone with it. But either way, that part really worked for me. But I immediately fell in love with Reggie and Reggie's story. Now, what I love about this film is that, you know, you, you have to hate Will Forte, right? He's a horrible person. He's a horrible dog owner. He's a horrible human being. He's selfish. He's lazy. And he hates animals. In particular, he hates dogs. So it's really hard to like him. And you have to not like him for this movie to work. But also, something I really appreciated is there's a little bit of animal cruelty in there. Yes, it's a little hard to watch at times because obviously he has to be a very bad person, especially to dogs. However, what I loved is they didn't push that too far. They easily could have. And if they did, it would have taken me out of it. I would have wanted to leave. I would not have wanted to watch. Um, so I enjoyed what they did. I feel like they got just up to the line enough. 
Um, and then ripped it away, pulled it back so that we weren't forced to see him go a little bit too far. Which, again, props to Will Forte for really making you hate this character because um, I assume he doesn't hate dogs like this in real life. So good for him to bring that to the table and really truly be acting uh, in this movie. Now, again, there's a lot of heart here because you you love Reggie and he's now, you know, you see how he's treated. Um, and then, of course, like I said, there's the love story as well. So there's a lot to enjoy about this movie. It's hilarious. It's absolutely raunchy. Um, it's, it's, they push the envelope time and time again, but in a way that worked for me, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I had fun. I think it's one that you definitely want to see in a packed theater. Um, the, the story's a little bit predictable, of course, uh, but I'll tell you what, the main story is predictable. There's definitely enough surprises, shocking surprises and twists along the branches along the way that definitely will keep you entertained and feeling like you have no idea what could happen next. Listen, I give Strays a three and a half out of five. I think it's definitely worth seeing, especially if you love raunchy comedies. Um, and it's, it's entertaining, especially if you love dogs. You've never seen a dog movie like this before. But if you love dogs, I think you'll truly enjoy it. And it'll make you want to come home and hug your dog a little tighter or, or go out and adopt a dog. I really, truly, like, that is immediately how I felt after this film. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Let me know if you're excited for Strays down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.